Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, so today we are doing a, I think it's called a knoll base. Um, it's kind of like an art deco base right there. When we were blasting, we noticed that there was fill, uh, filler on it. And of course we can't put filler in this oven. So we're going to use some lab metal. Uh, talked to our customer he said it's fine uh, to fill it just because they have some deep gouges on it and it looks like to me it was two pieces put together and then some kind of uh, seal uh, and it, actually I'll show you <clears throat> she had discoloration right there and you can see the damage air the damage air and there's a few other spots that need filler so we're gonna use, of course, a uh, lab metal so it can hold up to uh, the oven. So a couple things, uh, we'll do it quick. Um, I have like six videos that I need to put out. Um, I have them downloaded and everything. I just gotta go through them and add uh, links to where I do this shit and a whole bunch of stuff. So I did bed liner in my truck. Uh, so I have a quick little five minute video of us doing that. Not really informational, just uh, showing us doing it. I uh, have a couple Boston videos. Um, one of them I'm gonna put over here. The other one, I think it's the decks. When we blasted decks, uh, I'm only gonna show that over on the Resurrection channel. So uh, there's a link up here. If you wanna watch that video, uh, feel free to go to that and watch that video. Uh, we've been straight out busy. I apologize between powder coating and between blast and it's just really hard to uh, keep up with the editing and everything, but we're doing our best. Uh, we did try to get some paint prep from Eastwood and we've noticed like it's pretty much impossible. Um, so we picked up this. Um, it's supposed to be eco-friendly and Unfortunately, my experience with eco-friendly says this shit don't work, but we'll try it. Uh, maybe it does. Maybe it'll be the first thing I'm actually surprised that it's eco-friendly and does work. Second, just out of shits and giggles, I picked this up. It's actually wipes. So you know how we normally put down, uh, we spray it off and we used to wipe it and we stopped doing that because this shit had lint on it it's supposed to be lint free so i'm curiosity i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna uh wipe things down with it and see if it truly truly is lint free or not i'm um, gonna call come in hopefully it doesn't mess up anything there hopefully it really is lint free because it'd be awesome to take this and wipe something down and then blow it off and be done okay uh last thing is uh, check out Greener Blast Technologies. Uh, the system we have is running like a beast. Uh, very happy with it. Uh, respect the guys down there. Like if you're looking for a mobile blast system, uh, give them guys a call. Let them know that you heard it here to go down and check them out. Um, they're they're good guys. Uh, they're always on top of stuff. You can get hold of them. It doesn't matter how early or how late. Uh, Unfortunately, sorry, Bob, I've woke Bob up before calling him about stuff. Uh, and his attitude is he walks me through it. He helps me out with it. It doesn't matter. So uh, res mad respect to them guys. Uh, and I love their system. Uh, we're efficient with it now and we're getting really good with it and uh, enjoying it. We have a log cabin coming up uh, next week. We've done a lot of stuff in dry blast. We've never done anything in well, we're learning in wet blast, as you guys know. Uh, wet blasting is new to us. So uh, w everything we learned dry blasting, we're kind of putting aside uh, time-wise and uh, everything, and we're just trying to learn this wet system. So it's a Greener Blast Technologies. Uh, GB350 is what we have. Uh, they make some crazy-ass big ones, too. So, uh, okay, guys. So, yeah. Uh, I'll be putting out this video here in a couple days. Um, hopefully I get the other videos out by then or schedule them. Um, I'll probably schedule them a week uh, per video just to give me a little bit of breathing space. So 
Okay guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. As normal, if you have any questions, uh, go over to our company Facebook page down in the descriptions. Uh, message us and we will answer anything that we can. Peace. Hey guys, so we have a Knoll table base. It's cast. Okay, so you guys know that this cannot hang. I mean, it's like 80 pounds. I put two rods under it. What I think I'm gonna do is cut these rods on the end and maybe tack weld them in those two spots and over there and then do it this way. I'll reach up underneath with the gun as best I can. Uh, I already let the customer know that I can't see under there. Um, so we we decided that we're gonna do the ridge. It's gonna be in gloss white. We're gonna do the ridge. We're gonna do the whole th the spiral. Uh, anything that's missed on the bottom, we're just gonna white paint it uh, just so it's protected. Uh, and we're not gonna do anything here. The plan was not to do anything, but since this is rusty, I want to clean this up too. Um, praying this is not porcelain uh, or enamel. Uh, because as you know, porcelain or enamel, you can't blast it off. You have to etch it. Um, anyway, uh, either way it is, uh, we're going to take a crack at it and I'm sure it will look great in the end. guys so as you know we need to fill in some spots on this base here uh you newer guys if you get an uneven surface something metal and uh you cannot use um any kind of fillers uh, like regular bondo or any of that what we use here is high temp lab metal uh, right now it's kind of in a liquid form on the top so what we're going to do is i literally had a nail and i guarantee oh yeah that's exactly where it goes okay so we're just taking a a nail and holy shit this is rough so it's going to take a little bit of work okay if we cannot get it to a consistency um, to where we can handle it, you know what, maybe I'll take one of my older flathead screwdrivers or something and turn it into a lab metal stir. Um, if it doesn't give you any kind of uh, consistency that you can work with, because you kind of need it like a, a putty, this is what we use lab solution uh, from Columbia Coatings. We put a little bit of this in, stir it, put a little bit in, stir it, until you get a consistency that you need. Uh, of course, you don't want anything that is gonna be uh, too thick for you. Uh, of course, trying to find a, I don't wanna use one of my good screwdrivers, but geez, I'm Kroby. You know what? Sacrifices sometime have to be made. So I hope everybody out in the internet world is doing good. Uh, 
COVID around here seems to be doing a lot better. Uh, people that are getting sick from it are just getting like normal colds and stuff. They're not getting anything major. Uh, we just did our 1000 giveaway. I'll put a link above here. Uh, the winners uh, still waiting. I think we got five of them that have replied already, um, which is awesome. We got another four that need to reply. Um, we're gonna send out their products on the third. Also, we have to get hold of a couple companies because they have products uh, for them too. Okay, so this was definitely a better idea, but I'll show you in a minute. Um, when I was starting to learn with this, it was hard with people trying to explain what you're looking for, um, but seeing it is a lot better, so. Okay. So we have been doing mobile blasting. There is some mobile blasting stuff on this channel. We also have some mobile blasting stuff over on our resurrection channel, which I'll put a link up here. Um, that is not on this channel. So if you like the blasting, uh, come over there and watch it. I do apologize. Uh, my son has been taking the footage, um, which is awesome. He's taking the time to do it while we're blasting, but uh, he hasn't realized that we have to zoom in and see it. So you see us blasting, not what's going on with the blasting. So over time, that will get better, I promise you. Okay, so we have this kind of consistency. Like a putty. Um, that's good. I want it a little thinner because these are not big, big chunks. They're like divots. And you can see it looks like this was built, this was built, and then they put it together, bonded it together. And that's where we're having some of the issues, like a big one right there. So... We'll just put a little dab in, a little dab will do you. Something stupid little like that will go a long ways. Uh, lab metal has been a lifesaver. We don't get many people that care enough about their rims to want to do the lab metal on it, which is awesome because that would be a pain in the ass to sit there and lab metal rims until they're perfectly smooth. But something like this, uh, not bad. Um, this stuff is super expensive. It's like 80 bucks last time when I think when I got this for 14 ounce. Um, I actually bought it on one of, one of my, uh, that's coming here. One of my customers bought it. So this customer, instead of charging him the money for it, I'm just charging him. I think I'm adding $20 onto his bill to do these holes so nothing major you know just i just know the white if i don't do this it's gonna show in a couple places and um a lot of the lower ones i don't really care about but these big ones i do so okay so it's looking good guys that's what i like it it's exactly what i want okay so, I am going to uh, use a small, small plastic scraper. Um, that way it will conform to the stuff. And real, remember guys, this stuff, if you get drops and stuff, take it off because this is metal. So, or this will harden as hard as metal. So when you sand it, it's a pain in the ass. So, okay, here he probably can't see. Let me get you guys closer. Actually, let me get you some extra light. Does that help some? Okay. So this has already been blasted, so there's a surface to connect with. Again, you just want it in the spots, and I'm gonna just try feeling, because right now it's hard to see the spots because everything is all different. Oh, right there, I 
felt one. Sorry guys, you're not gonna see this one, but it is full. So I hope everybody out there has been doing good. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us um, on our Facebook Messenger. Uh, we try to answer everybody. On average, we probably answer about, on average, 30, 40 uh, messages a day from people asking from things from um, our mirror blaster setup. And this is where you want to try to get it as smooth as you can because you're going to be sanding metal off uh, when it dries. So. Uh, sorry, so we have people asking us from the Amera Blaster setups to our system. <clears throat> okay, I thought that was... Oh, we got some more up there. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to take up much more time. It's already been eight minutes, so apologize for this segment being so long. Um, uh, we got some more. I don't know if you can see all the duck friends out there. I can't zoom. They're just hanging out. Oh, a little family of ducks. I interrupted their meal. Okay, guys, so, um, yeah, next part of this, uh, um, I'll try to remember tomorrow to show you when I'm sanding. I'm waiting on Prismatic. It was supposed to be in yesterday or today. Uh, tomorrow we have some, sorry. Tomorrow we are going and doing some mobile blasting. We have a 10,000 gallon fuel tank that we have to do. So that video will probably be over on the Resurrection channel, not this one. So uh, just because I have this one and I have a little video coming out on Monday uh, doing bedliner. And then on Wednesday, I have a video premiere coming out for... Oh, the uh, VW. We did a uh, blasting of the VW uh, parts, rear end, transmission, all that. Uh, the two decks that we did, the uh, thousand square feet of decks that we did, um, that is over on the, going to be over on the blasting channel. Uh, that is not going to be up on here. So if you want to see that, you're going to have to go over to that channel. So, okay, guys, uh, that's enough talking. I will see you on the next step. Hey guys, so everything has hardened up all the, it's been like two days and all of the um, lab metal is hardened. So now we're going to just go over, uh, we're going to sand it up just to make sure we're using 120 grit. I have already got from here down to about here done sanded. Um, you can still feel the some of the imperfections, but uh, at least it's not as bad.
Hey guys, so we're gonna use Eastwood paint pre-prep. Um, they have this new green stuff out. I think I said it earlier in the video along with wipes, but we're gonna just use this for now. Uh, I'm too tired today to experiment with shit. So I've got this and then I got a rear axle behind me uh, that I gotta do. So uh, we're just gonna run it down with this. I've already blown it off. We're gonna, uh, spray this on it and then we're gonna blow it off again to get any dust debris. Then it'll be ready for uh, the white. Okay, so to confirm it's dry, 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 because I don't want to leave it for a little bit while I do the rear end uh, and have it start to flash rust on me. So, not gas. Um, all we're doing with it is just drying the part up. That's it. I could throw it in the oven, uh, do it that way. Um, but we've already outgassed it and all that stuff. And I don't want to use electricity, to be honest with you. We've already outgassed it. So. Matte gas, do not use the blue butane or whatever it is. I think it's butane, uh, just because it leaves a film. Uh, matte gas burns cleaner, so use your matte gas. Okay, we're gonna take it out. We really don't need to hot clock it. But I just put it in the oven uh, just to off gas it again. So, okay, let's get this. Okay. We're gonna end up hot flocking it because it is uh, hot, um, but we don't need to hot flock it. It was just a way to, hopefully that stays. Um, sorry, it was just, I wanted to outgas it again just because it is a rough metal. I wish I would have felt this indent because I would have felt that in, but I did not feel it when I was sanding. 
Hey guys, so that was our video on the Knoll table base. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We are also starting a new series called What Is. Um, so if any of you guys have anything that you would like us to go over, because I get a lot of questions like uh, microamps, what's the difference between Canadian microamps and uh, back ionization and stuff. So I want to start a little quick series, five minute videos on What Is. Uh, so our first one, what is KB and what is uh, microamps? Uh, so in layman's terms, not science, in my terminology, uh, I'm gonna kind of go over it, how I understand it, and uh, I got, sorry, notifications. I'll go over it on how I understand it and how it was explained to me. Um, so I'll do it on a layman's term. So that video should be coming out shortly. It'll be my first one. If you guys would like, anything done on what is videos just in the comments put the word what is and then underneath uh something that you maybe have an issues with that you would like uh kind of gone into depth more again as a layman not as scientific facts uh there's a lot of science shit out there that i can read and not understand and when i was explaining the kb and the micro amps in layman's terms i understood it so i will explain it the exact same way so Okay guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next video, which will be a what is video. So, uh, peace.